everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Donna. This is Planning with Donna. How is everybody today? If you're new here, <clears throat> welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I have something different for you guys today. I just got my Shein package literally like 30 minutes ago. All right, let's do this. First off, we have, um, I think this is a Yes, this is a 10 count washi. They call it masking tape, which I guess technically it is. So let me get my, is my knife out here? Here it is. Ta-da. And open this up. Let's see what it's all about. All these little, I know you're supposed to cut away from yourself. I'm just excited. I'm like, whoo. This is gonna be so much fun. I haven't done a haul in a hot minute. So, let's just do it my way. We have a bunch here. We have this really pretty dragonfly. That is gorgeous. I probably need to get a sheet of paper to put this on so y'all can see it. Let's just do this piece of foam core I got here handy. So, Put a little strip of that there. I ain't gonna waste it. I just want y'all to see it. And this one. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. Now some of these I'm not gonna do because you can see them pretty good. I want you to be able to see these big ones. These are little tiny little dots. I don't know if you can see that. And then these are like little baby flowers. Like seriously, tiny, tiny little flowers. Let me see here. If I can pull that off of there, maybe you can see it a little bit better. There we go. That's cute. This is just leaves. This is really, I think this will be really cute. Leaves and fat no. This is feathers, feathers and flowers. So that's really cute too. And then this is grapes, super pretty. I know this video is gonna be like 13 hours long if I keep yakking. And then this one I love, it looks like, it actually looks like clouds. And then this one's grapes. All right. This is all plaids. I went goofy for this because I am a plaid lover. So this is like this is a like a real light brown. This is a blue and there's a, quite a bit on these rolls. This is a tan plaid. This is like the blue. These are greens if you can see that. And then these are more of your tans and greens and bright blues. Those are gorgeous. So that is my plaid. You know you're gonna see that in the plan. These are cute. They're just plain. Let's see if you can see them out of the box. Put them on my finger here so you can see them better. This is like a plum. This is like a really light mauve. This is a slate blue, sage green, and this is just like a brownish beige. So super cute, really liking that. I'm just trying to get some stuff like this just to accent more or less, obviously. And then I have been wanting this forever. Forever. I like the little boxes they're in. This is all the blacks and grays. And I have been wanting some grid washi forever. And I don't have any. So let's take these two out. These are just charcoal, medium charcoal gray. And then they go, sort of go into a little bit of a grayish brown, then gray, and then like light, light gray. These are just plain. They look a little marbly, we'll say. Marbly, I don't know if that's a word. And you don't get a lot on a roll, but that's okay. And this is just your black with white grid lines and then white with black grid lines. So 
You'll be seeing that in an upcoming uh, video, I am sure. Been wanting to do another big blackout spread. All right. Um, this is a quarter corner rounder. And on Shein, it was like, I think it was like super duper cheap, like $3. And you have a more of a pointy, a curved, and a rounded edge. And I've been wanting one of these forever and a day. So I got me a quarter rounder. I hope y'all are liking this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I can do more hauls like this because I can afford it. <laughs> now these are not glued together. They're just, they're not sticky. They're just like a tablet. But what a cute idea, especially like if you did a blackout spread, you literally could put glue on the back of this or um, glue tape and you could track your orders or like your receipts for the week or your receipts for the month, you know, like keeping track of your spending. I thought this was so cute and I thought it was a perfect size to use on a planner if you wanted to. So I thought that was really super cute. These are just pieces of paper that are like crinkled. They have a crinkled effect. They're not crinkled in texture, just in uh, vision. They are all different kinds of textured paper that I thought would be really cute. I think these were like a dollar. And you have bigger pieces. You have smaller pieces. You have some that look like wrinkled up paper. This just looks like maybe alcohol ink on the paper. Then you have bigger pieces and darker pieces, mauvish pieces. This looks real, actually this is like a textile effect in the background. Just, and they really look like they're wrinkled. And then you have these sizes. You've got all kinds of different kinds of texture. They're smooth and they're called Cottage Garden. And you get 60 pieces of paper. And I think they were uh, like a dollar. So I think that's super cute. And for you new junk journalers out there, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's a little pressed. It looks like baby's breath. And then these are adhesive on the back. And who opens his eyes to the... Okay, that's so small I can't read it. But anyway, that's a little quote. This is lace. Then you have... Are those not gorgeous? And look at these little pieces of like... You can write a little notation on those. And this is something flowers on it, some kind of flower. Oopsies, there we go. Look at this, look at its thorns. And you get a whole bunch of those. You get like four or five of those. Now you get two of those. And then you get these round with a scalloped edge on them and lines. Ooh, look what I'm seeing in my future here. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then this is Lily's Smooth, Happy, Blessed, and Noble. And then this is just, this is a heavier, it feels heavier and it feels textured. Uh, press, it's a, like a pressed, it's like a, um, watercolor with uh, writing in the evening the evening primrose shows her quiet face at eight o'clock I put my nose close to the flowers and I could smell the fragrance hmm, I love the shapes of those see you can I'm telling you I'm loving this mauve like I'm feeling an effect coming on here and then that's got mauve in it. Then you have these shaped like a tombstone. And then you have your, you know, Beauty and the Beast rose here. This is 
Just pick the rose of life today. Don't wait for tomorrow. Look at those. These are just quotes. There's two of those. And then we have just really cute stuff for junk journaling or regular journaling. Just saying. I mean, this stuff is just so, so cute and can make such a unique spread. And you've got several spreads you could do with these. And I'm like, it's a dollar. There's 30 pieces in this bag. So, super cute, unique stuff that looks awesome sauce. <clears throat> look at how cute that is. I just want you to look. <laughs> I went a little bit cuckoo for this color spectrum. These are all sticky notes, but again, Take these sticky notes. You can use them as stickers in your planner. How cute is this? I mean, seriously, I went, I should have bought more of these because I, I really like these and I may because it's a quick, easy, matching aesthetic that you could use in your planner that are seriously cute. Like, look at how cute these are. Love, and I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit crazy for plaid. Can you tell? All right. Now, this is Deco Stickers. Now, this is what I thought I was getting on the other one. How do I? So, sorry, I'm trying to be. These are supposed to, yeah, they're stickers. So, you've got this. Look at all these. This one says autumn, clover size. You could even use these as presses. Starry night. And then this one, that's pretty. Let's move some of these so you can see new ones. I love this, it's probably my favorite. Looks like stamps. Be cute for a memory spread. You could put your picture in here. And I probably, that's probably what these are for. Sunshine. Put Miss Abby in there. She's my sunshine. My only sunshine. Believe in yourself. And then this one. I don't know what it is. And then another stamp. Super cute. And these are stickers, so they'll stick down and then you can put, you know, something under it and it'll be super duper cute. Okay, looky here. This is flower window lace. And you know, this is not going to get thrown away. This is going to get cut out and used. I could use this with those hearts. Just saying. You know, I don't, now they have little glue dots. So you can put the glue dots on the box of these and use them. OMG. OMG. Look at how gorgeous. And the front and back. You talk about pretty. Look at this one. Let me just put some of these. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hello, sunshine. Looky there. Looky there. Let's put these over here. Look at all those. Look at how pretty. In love with this. Brace yourself, because you know there's going to be a spread coming. You know it. You already know it. <laughs> you know how I roll. Then I got this. This is called Flower Story. And this is, I'm not sure. <laughs> Open it up. Ooh. This is vellum, and it's not a sticker. You know I'm going to make it one. They're all the same. It's a tablet of them. And you use these. Oh, they're all different. Oh. 
you use these like just to tuck in. So you've got that design. I don't know how many of those you got. Then you have it in the white. How cute is that? Then it skips over here and you've got airmail. Got the same thing in the white background. Like I said, these are all vellum. And you got some that are a little bit different. And there's the white ones. There's like three of those. There's like three of each. And then you've got Feel Thy Moment. <laughs> That's fancy. And then you have it in the white. And then... That's it. Those are cute. Really great for layering in your junk journal, your regular journal. Put a little blue strip on the back of there. You know. All right. They are little. Um, little dots. You pull them apart. So, and of course, you know I got it pink, you know, shocker there. So, I've got a little roll of those. And like, like I said, there's not a lot on there. But I mean, there's a lot considering they're little dots and you're not, how many are you going to use really on a spread? You know, I know I'll probably do more than most people. All right. What do we got here? We've got, these are crocheted lace looking Stickers, they're stickers. So you have two of the tan. Then you have these. I don't know if you can see them real good. You have these, and these are all stickers. Then these are more lacy. You can cut those in two, and you've got four. And then we've got two of those, two in the gray. Two of these. These are more beigey, cream colored. This one's got a little bit of like amber cast to it. Looks like it's almost uh, tea stained. Ooh. You know I'm all about the different. Just saying. The tea stained in this so far are my two favorite. Then, and I do like this rectangle shape. There's two of those. And this is, it's lace. It's like little um, tassels. Then you got little strips of lace. You got two of those. And then you've got two in a different shape, but round. And then you've got, these are sort of a greenish gray. This is more of a blue gray. And then you've got more of your tannish doilies. And these are all stickers. These are, this shows you how I plan for our Wrap, unwrap gifts at Christmas. All right. These are, I think they're stick. Yeah, they're stickers. So I got yellow tulips. I did this yellow because you know I'm going to do a yellow spread for my grandbaby. She loves yellow. It's her favorite color. So we've got two tulips. We've got two yellow roses. We've got two, don't know what those are, daffodils. I don't know. Two yellow roses. These look like daisies or black eyed Susans. And then you've got these. No. Okay. I don't know. Are those crocuses? I think those are. I don't know. Because I think these are tulips. I don't know. I just want to show you all the different patterns in here. Ooh, I like these long stem ones. Look at those. Ooh, got some, these look like Gerber daisies. And then you've got your long stem daisy there. Oh, look at that. Look at your rose petal. That matches that one. Put it over here. Got your big rose petal there. Your other daisy. Oops, flip it over, Donna. There we go. <clears throat> You get quite a few. And I mean, these are really pretty. 
Like seriously, you got all different openings, wide open, then you've got it has an, you know, I like that, that they're thinking about that, the depth of the, the flower. I like those. Oh, look at there. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. She loves, and I've got some sunflowers in there in a box somewhere that I didn't use from last year. She loves sunflowers. Look at all these sunflowers. Let me get those up so y'all can see. So you got a lot here. I don't know how many was in there. I didn't look. But these are all stickers. You know, they're on this cellophane-like paper. But they're all stickers. So you know I'm going to be stickering up a spread here soon. And uh, it's going to be a lot of yellow in it. She loves yellow. I mean, we can be driving to school, and honest to goodness, she sees a yellow vehicle, and she goes, great, look at that yellow truck, Mama. And I'm like, I see it, baby. All right. Now, so here is watercolor date stickers. Woo-wee. Hello, sunshine. There we go. Oh, my goodness. So you get a lot. Let's take one off and so you can see all of the different colors you get. You get I'm trying to see if it starts over. So you're getting like a butt time of stickers. There we go. And I would say, just based on the packaging, that, and I'm going to have to use these like a deck of cards because I don't have any more space. You've got pink, green, peaches and corals, pinks, blues, greens. And then I think that's where they repeat. I do like that a lot, but I don't think that's the same. I think that's darker than that. Then you've got... That one. And then I think what it is, is when you pull these out, they're the same, but they're smaller dots. And then you get two of those, you get two of these, and you get two of those. And that's just an empty space there. So, lots of dots here. I am in love with these. So, you just pull them up. And then you can you can actually put these in behind stuff for accents. I've seen a lot of people use these. I know that Judy from JLB Crafts, she uses these a lot. And they do add a lot of definition. They're not just for tasks. And it will. It will add a lot of the layering effect onto your planner spread with stuff like that. I mean, you can go crazy with like stuff like this and just keep layering. Like you have all this layering that you can do and, and make a gorgeous spread. So I saved the best for last. These are all stickers. Again, these were all for my adventures in junk journaling, however, these are just as good for, because they are stickers, for um, regular planning. And you get a lot. What is that? Oh, that's a mushroom. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Look at these. Looks like a label. Turn it this way. There we go. Cutesy tootsy. I like that. Look at these roses. I'm just trying to lay them out here so y'all can see them. Got more mushrooms, different shaped mushrooms. Then we've got butterflies, all kinds of different butterflies. Scoot those over. Got blue. Look how pretty those are. Then we've got cotton. And ferns, 
more butterflies, pink ones. You get two of everything. And when you put these down, they're going to be a um, like a vellum finish. So they'll be like a matte. Look at all these pretty butterflies. Now, scoot these over. I hope I'm getting y'all on camera. All right. And these are, I have no idea what those are. All kinds of pretty flowers. More mushrooms. More ferns, just differently shaped. Mushrooms. Look at that butterfly. That is cute. It's got a road map. It's got a map on it. That is cute. I like that. It's different. Then we've got those. More ferns. These ferns are screaming my name. More mushrooms. Then we've got irises. Pink roses. More mushrooms. Pale roses. Those look like coral. More mushrooms. More fern stems. Roses, and then a little that says forest on it. Then you've got long stem red roses. Oh, I love that! Look at that, it's got layering on that with maple leaf. And then you've got sunflowers with writing in behind a little layered sticker all of itself. That's another little layered sticker. How cute. Okay, then, I mean, that's a lot of stickers. And this paper's really, it's not real heavy, but you've got all kinds of papers in here. I'm just gonna flip them like so, so you can see them, two of those. And then we've got, oh, you know, that's screaming my name. I love that. And then we have, you know, your salute to mushrooms. We'll have to do a mushroom spread, I reckon. And then you've just got plain ones. Look at these. That would go really good with a lot of the blue, like the blue willow looking stuff I like. And that would match it nicely as well. Look at that. That's pretty. Then you've got that really pretty shaped one. Two of those. And then you've got that pretty shaped one, two of those. This is an odd shape. Cute. And more ode to mushrooms. Mushrooms must be a big thing in China. There's that. That's cute. I'm loving these. These are seriously cute. I really like those. I apologize for the sun going in and out. I really can't do anything about that. Yearly egg account. Oh, that's funny. All right, there's that. I like these because you can just put these on a spread. You can put these in your junk journal. And you talk about something unique. And you know I'm the queen of unique. I like that amber. Almost looks like a alcohol ink. More mushrooms. Then we have stamps. And you can cut these apart. You've got pine branches. You've got mushrooms, of course. And you've got... Um, looks like berries on one of these. And you've got flowers on the other two. Then we've got these flowers. I'm loving this paper. I'm trying to go through these sort of quick. There's, if it's already layered, you just put it in the book. It's like, hey. <laughs> and you've got your pine. 
I like that. It's got the wax stamp on it. I have one of those, I think, over at my mom's packed away. And you've got, these look like irises. Then you have these. Lots of writing space here. It says one cent on that one. You get a lot in this. Cease today, don't blame tomorrow. Cute. This one is one cent. It's, it's an F-I-N-E fine retro on it. You've got cute. These are just screaming junk journaling. Those two. And we have our Black Eyed Susans. Look at those bees. Are those not gorgeous? And then you have, look like a page out of a book with some flowers. It's a foreign language, so I have no idea. It's probably German or something. Newspaper. Already layered. Cute. I just love how different this stuff is. You know, I'm all about the different. I don't like... I was so sick of the same old, same old. I'm just like, I've got to break out of my shell. Guys, I have got to do something different. I've got to bring you all some different kind of content. And I just thought, you know, for super cheap, you've got a lot of stuff here that you could make into a serious, you could probably plan your whole year out with this many stickers. Love these that have the burnt edges. Look at that. That is a cute aesthetic. Beautiful things. Look at how pretty those are. Ooh, you've got more burnt edges. You've got your mushrooms. Those and more mushrooms. I love that burnt edge effect. That's a grid. It says notes on it. Spring in the lap of, and then it's off the page. So you've got another layered effect there already. How cute is that? So pretty. And like you can cut this stuff out. You don't have to leave it on the page. That's another layered effect that's already done for you. And another layered effect already done for you. And this one. And then the last one that one and that was called deco paper and there was a lot I mean that was a lot guys so tell me your thoughts I want to know I want to know what you think I mean look at all of the different items that I did get I just I really hope that you enjoyed this little haul video if you did Leave me a thumbs up. Also, if you did, something I would like for you to do is to let me know what you'd like to see me plan with all of this stuff. I would really, really, really like to know. So, with all of that being said, I'm trying to put all this back on my thing so y'all can take another little glance at everything I got. And I almost forgot, I, had, I shared these the other day in a planner video i got 50 these came first they must have been local and these were also you get 50 sheets of all colors of your uh, bullets so this was three dollars i know that so if you enjoyed it let me know what you want to see me plan with um anything in particular i'd be happy more than happy to do it for you guys and um, just shoot me a, a, a message uh, down below, or you can DM me over on Instagram and just talk to me, tell me what you'd like to see. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching. Don't forget that big like. All right, guys. 
You all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.